all right so welcome to today's lesson so if you notice you know no video has been posted for about i think three weeks um, now you know due to some reason so let's get into the chat straight forward and then um, let's take a look at what happened in the previous week that's from the 25th to the 29th all right and then what i am expecting the market on the 20 from the first to fifth of um, august okay so now this on the left hand side right here is the dollar index and then on the right hand side here is the usd okay and then um, if you would if you would observe we have this favorable gap right here We have this favorable gap right here, this area. Okay, and then for the previous weeks, you know, price have been trading down, down, down. Okay, and then we are currently in this favorable gap. And then on Friday, this is daily charts. And then on Friday, we had this drop running up to the high of this particular candle right here. Um, and from there, we had a little retracement back up into the range okay so what am i expecting in the market All right now i'm expecting some kind of sensitivity within this region okay within this particular region All right now um for the coming week i'm just holding on to see how price trade within this range okay but my primary target is for price to you know, have a reversal up to take out this particular um high right here okay as we do um i don't really try to call the very turning point of the market you know for the past weeks you know price or the dollar index has been trading bullish and i'm seeing this as just a retracement to rebalance this particular area and then we try to target this particular high then this area right in the then finally can target this particular high right here okay now that's my expectation so what should nullify this particular um expectation is that should we should the dollar index continue to trade lower probably into this particular loop and then this particular loop right here okay and then my bullishness on the dollar index is um going to be changed but as of now i'm bullish on dollar and i'm expecting the coming week to have some kind of sensitivity around where price is currently okay now one reason i'm looking forward to this coming week for price or dollar index to trade higher is that we can actually see that where price is in the dollar index on we are in the fair value and in the usd right now we are having some kind of resistance around the low end of this particular fair value right no even as dollar is trading lower the euro is not showing any willingness to trade higher okay so um that's the uh, the ict um smart money technique something here yeah, or the smt right so we're having that kind of divergence in here um right there and then right here okay so which is actually occurring occurring in the fair value cup and then price was traded up to this particular high and then we had that particular retracement okay so from there i'm looking at a dollar to trade much higher okay i'm just watching to see how price reacts to that particular level if if the dollar index show any kind of readiness to trade on monday or tuesday above this particular high then i'm going to consider this particular um setup or this particular bias of the dollar index going much higher and then the euro usually is the trading lower as i've talked about okay so let's let me check in something small i've not really talked about but uh, maybe video and so that's the seasonal tendency right 
So in the seasonal tendency, this is August, right? And then we have the income 35 here in the blue, and then we have um 50 year, then we have five year, we have 50 year in the one, and then five year in pink color, something. All right, so you can see that for the very few days, uh, in August, okay, maybe Monday, Tuesday, um, or just some few days within the first week of August. Now you have this little drop in the dollar index, okay. And then from there, within that same few um, first week, we actually see the dollar index rise or trade higher in the um, August, the first week of August, in the 35 year. Then we have the 15 year, then we have the five year chart. Okay, up to somewhere the mid of the month. Okay, now that aside, looking at where we are, okay, and the SMT that we are having here. Okay, now I'm most likely going to go for that. I'm expecting that to happen. Okay, so let's wait for price to show that kind of willingness to trade higher then we engage in that particular direction okay so that's my expectation in the coming week let's see how price um gives us our entries and hopefully we have a successful week okay thank you